see if I can turn this around. This is one of those multifunction switches. See if we can get some cleaner in there. See if we can turn this and get some in the back. Need a little spotlight to wear it on. It's going to be hard getting that cleaner up in there with this new cleaner. The bottles, I mean. I bet you a dollar that's what that is right there. Alright. They got a lot of old capacitors on here. See, we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen capacitors. Okay. Now I may just see if I can check these for being good, but I can't see the values on all of them. It's gonna be tough, friends. middle of those wires. Not good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray this switch in here. And I think we're going to take it from there and see if that don't do it. It's a slide switch, one of those slide switches that uh, connects things on the tape deck. That might explain just why it went dead so quick. Otherwise, taking these out of here is going to be a real thing to remember all this. These things have had 60-some-odd uh, years sitting around, so. All right. This also, I got fader lube, it also has a little bit of lubricant on it. All right, I think rather than take all these capacitors out, I will if I have to, because I want this to work, but I think I'm gonna put it back together and keep my dotted eyes crossed and everything that that's what it was. You just don't know that yet get all this put back in here without losing it. Now I'd want to take, if I do this, I want to take better pictures of it uh, as far as that goes. All right, let's get these. There's 
one of them lined up. I can't remember where the other one went in. There we go. That's still just one of them. to see where these are at. Now we got to put all this back. And uh, I feel conquered or beat on those capacitors, but I just don't want to take all those out. There's over 12 of them. And I tell you what, with these wires all on them, these wires here are soldered to a lot of them, and so is this here. And uh, depends on how bad you want something, I guess, but uh, not real keen on taking that out of there. All right. So we got this audio thing that goes here. Let's see if I can go in there and tack it down first. I'll turn this at a little bit of an angle. Tough, isn't it? And I hope I don't find an extra wire that broke off on something that on this when I'm done. And that does happen. Alright. Ooh, I smell that. It's not good. Suck that right in my throat. That's back on. And, uh, let's see here. I gotta get my diagram. And uh, I know where something goes here, but I'm already didn't draw that on my diagram. See, that's what I want to watch. Let's get this one soldered on while I'm thinking. This one is going to be the tough one without burning some plastic or something and getting it to stay on. Naturally, it don't tack. I wonder what Helen Killer's doing right now. You remember Helen Killer on Peyton Place? For those of you my age, now I'm going to have to tend this. I told you that one was going to be hard. Ain't nothing easy. Nothing easy peasy anymore, is there? Everything's hardy warty. Let's see if we can tend that. Thought I had a piece of solder already broken off. Yeah, I do. Let's see if I can tin this thing just a little bit. Hope I hope I don't have to end up shaving it off. All right. All right. Well, let's go back in there and see if we can't get it hooked up. We're on. All right. I 
think what I'll do before I go farther is get these jacks back in. And I'm hoping that's what it is, is that slide control. And those, I have an old uh, Mayfair open reel portable tape recorder. And I can't remember the model number, but I haven't fixed it yet. But that's what's wrong with those. They get to where they, it, it's problem with, it works, but it won't record. Did I trap that under there? Yeah. All right. That's the ox. We'll see if we can get that back in there. Now watch me drop one of these and lose it. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing or not. I'm putting these little round mounting screws on these jacks because I took these jacks off. And I'm trying to get them this one threaded here. Got it threaded. These are plastic and these were the modern ones for the 60s instead of the middle ones, but they, uh, all this stuff is 60 years old, and it's brittle, and uh, that's not the one I wanted to know, that's the remote mic. But all this stuff is brittle, and uh, you got to handle it like a, uh, a brick china house. I tell you, uh, well, let's try to go ahead and get this one in. Like a house full of china in North Carolina. There it is. There it is. If I now, it's a small one. This will thread. If it'll thread like Ted. There we go. To tighten down. I'm going to give these just enough turn. We don't lose them. can barely get these with these dikes. And I don't want to slip because you slip and it scratches it. And it's a piece of vintage equipment. We don't do that here. We don't break things here, folks. All right. This one. Here's a tough one. Okay, this one is the mic, and this other one is the monitor. Okay, and they kind of got to both go in there at once. And I, this resistor coupler, I kind of bent it when I took it out. I mean, it, it's just the way it's soldered on its components, but now I'm going to have to try to bend that back without breaking it off of there. That's going to be, I think I better try to, I was going to try to get these in there, if this one was tough because it had that back wire on it. If I can get it in there. There it is. It's not done yet, though. Now I just got my fingers crossed that it was that switch in there because the radio works so good. And uh, But when I seen those capacitors, I kind of lost my... This is a piece of vintage equipment, and I can do it. I really can. I just... All of a sudden, I just like, oh, I don't want to do that. And I've told you before on this channel, when you don't want to do something like that on something critical like this, you don't. Because all you're going to do is break things. And we don't do that. Or scratch things and leave a mark on it for the next person that has it, because it's vintage equipment. Leave a mark on it that somebody was in it. And that one's a little bit crooked. I'm going to straighten it because we want it to look like factory. I mean, it's fine, but it's crooked inside. We don't want... Oh, hang on. Hang on, people. I may not do that. I give up pretty easy nowadays. Turned it a little bit. That may be enough to... Not quite. Got it. 
went on easy. All right, it's adjustable now. All right, we'll try to. Oh, that's what I don't want to do. Okay, that's on. Very little damage, just a little more on the screw head there, but we're all right. All right, let's get this one in there. And this is the monitor jack. There it's in. If I can get it straight. And there's been people in here marking this like crazy. Somebody else tried to fix this. So it tells me it's a, it had a problem at one time, but it worked. When it came to me, it worked. And all I did was use it. And I'm hoping it's that freaking switch. If not, we've made a good video, haven't we? Let's see here. I don't want to scratch this, and I don't want to strip these. I thought for a minute that was stripping, but I believe it's all right. Yeah, somebody's been in here marking these, and I give you my word, I've been in it once before to clean these pots and controls. When the when the when the tape crapped out, I went in and cleaned the controls and stuff. And I thought, well, the radio's still working good. I give it a try. I'm not. But then I decided, like I was telling you, I want the tape to work. So. Those are in. Now let's see what we got left here. Okay, there's a long black wire. Let's see where I hope the hell I'm, pardon the language. I did. I, well, wait a minute. No, I didn't. Thank God. No, I didn't. No, I did not. Thank God. No, I did not. That black one goes right here. I didn't think that was a short black, though. that one okay we're missing a black wire I don't know where it's at unless that's it and it's pinched some way That is, I hope. No, it isn't. Now, it looks like a mess, but we get them tight. I think, oh, it needs to be tighter than that. Dad gum it. Nothing easy peasy. Not nothing anymore. And this is the old stuff. So I can't blame it on the new stuff and say, oh, it was always straightforward on the old stuff. Of course, I'm 45 years older than the last time I ever touched one of these. So I, I, that could have something to do with it. That'll be good enough. All right. I don't see any loose wires, folks. Let 
And I think we're all hooked back up. We look at this again. We hope and pray that we're right, don't we? Yes, sir, we do. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I kind of shut you guys off. Uh, I've got audio on the tape now. You switch the tape. I got this back together. It's hard to... Okay, when you press play... We now ha I don't have any tape in it, but we now have audio on the speaker. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's audio on the speaker. All right, folks, we're back on this. And uh, you'll see here uh, what we got. And we'll see if we've got the uh, cassette player fixed on this. Uh, let's see if we've even got a radio first. <laughs> Looks like we got AM. Try FM. Okay, folks, here goes the big one. Uh, let's see if we uh, got anything on the cassette. And remember, we didn't uh, replace any of the capacitors. We went in there, and there's a function switch that moves back and forth over contacts, if you remember. And we cleaned that real good. So uh, let's give it a check out and see. And if There we go. There, there we go. We, we got cassette. Let's see if I can make a recording on it. Oh, Is a prescription eye injection used to treat GA? Don't take it if you have. I've got some. Interference in that. Or increased risk of wet AMD. Either day may temporarily increase eye pressure. Your vision may be impaired after an eye injection or exam. Don't delay. Ask your doctor about either day today. That tape. I think the tabs. Yeah, the tabs are screwed up on that. Alright, let me. All right, let's give that recording a good try. Blake Shelton. That's right. The one and only Blake Shelton. Even my mom is like texting me. You're going to talk to Blake Shelton? He's going to be on Friday night starting at 7 o'clock. Make sure you join us hanging with Blake Shelton on the second ship. We'll see how Friday it records. Night, a taste of country nights. Kane Brown's plan for 2025 is the new The High Road Tour. And we want you to be there for his show in San Diego this March. What's up, guys? Kane Brown here. Get the contest codes at 820, 1020, 120, 420, and 720. You give me eyes, Billy girl. You give me girl. And then enter them on our rack. Grand prize winner gets show tickets for them and 
and a guest, airfare, hotel, and $500 cash. Get official contest rules and more info on our app. Brought to you by RCA Nashville and by... Okay, I wanted to say something. You notice how it changes uh, when you go, you know, you, you can turn the monitor. This has a monitor switch on or off right here. Monitor on, they don't, didn't put automatic uh, level control on these. You go to monitor and you adjust your volume and your tone. And it, you sometimes it will pull the tuning off a little bit and you have to adjust it. Keep in mind, this is late 60s, mid late 60s technology. But uh, anyway, uh, let's rewind this back and see if we've got anything on it. All right. Sure, this don't blast us here. Savings on gifts, like 25 to 40 percent off sweaters and fleece, and Hang every on a day by new. Wait, there's interference on the AM. Okay, let's go back and try this now. It's gonna be on Friday night, starting at seven o'clock. Make sure you join us, hanging with Blake Shelton on the second shift, Friday night. A taste of country night. There you go. Kane Brown's plan for 2025 is the new The High Road Tour, and we want you to be there for his show in San Diego this March. What's up, guys? Kane Brown here. Get the contest codes at 820, 1020, 120, 420, and 720. You give me a silly girl, you give me girl and girl. And then enter them on our rack. Grand prize winner gets show tickets for them and a guest. Pretty good tape. Hotel and $500 cash. 